Infinite Wealth. Chapter 12. Let's go. Did a lot of side stuff last time. A lot of reminiscing. And some required reminiscing? Let's do some more reminiscing. There's more to think about. Maybe I'll clean up a uh, Kamarocha right now. <coughs> Should be. Shouldn't take that long, right? It's not if I use my trusty segment. No, but you can't pick up items on a Segway. Tragic. I do kind of like being on foot in these games. After playing games like Grand Theft Auto and, uh... Sleeping Dogs, where, you, where having a car was really more the thing. <clears throat> and Saints Row, I guess. Yeah, that too. You steal cars in that game. Only one? You're going to regret this. Hi. I'm over here. What the hell? What are you doing down there? Get up here. You're not in the fight. What does that say? Wait, hang on. Show me again. Wine. Alright, now you're just standing in front of my... <laughs> I'm trying to appreciate the advertising here. Alright, Wheelman, you're gonna have to... <laughs> go all the way around. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. I was waiting for the, the the numbers to pop out of them. You got a lot of health, <clears throat> but you're on fire and you're charmed, so I'm in pretty good shape. Oh, Zao, don't go over there. Come on, man. We gotta fight. I won't hold back. You know what? This guy's got a ton of health. Punch, 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 punch. Ora. Oh shit, the other guy was right there. I could have done an area attack. Oh well. Relax store. I finally saw what it said. Let's go to the relax store. I wonder what you do there. Ready for the knockout. All right, can we stop getting off at the platform that the fight is happening on, please? <clears throat> there we go. Transcendent insoles. Learning more every day. Hell yeah. 
We should relish this spinning queen. Sweet. Okay, well, uh, these insults are probably for like speed, so I probably don't care that much, but let's just check. Yeah, 30, 30 speed. That's really good. It's mm -hmm. a lot of speed. Namba can get the other guy. Eh, not a lot. But the other guy's got that. Got the money. Namba isn't weak to money. He's in, he's in rage. Or he's three jobs to rank 20. 30, sorry. Moving up in the world. Essence of big ass bird. <laughs> I gotta see what that is. <laughs> That's uh, quite the image. Which one? The the ping pong? Yep. Uh, let's see. I remember this. I'm trying to fill out Camarocho here. <laughs> We're getting our stats all the way up. Damn, look at that. How much uh, how many memories do you have left? Um, there's a bunch scattered around here, which I'm gonna I'm gonna be cleaning up. Um, mm. And there's there's a side quest here and a side quest here, which is like a memory, but more involved. <clears throat> Usually involves a sto like a you know a returning character from the from the franchise. And then we're gonna go see Majima. I think. Like, that's what we talked about last time, there was plot. Oh. No, I, th I skipped a couple of sessions. I thought you were already done with that. I did some side things. There was the Drink Link ah. stream that you weren't here for that was entirely two hours of Drink Links. <laughs> I see. Um, I did all of them. We're all done now. The, the Drinking and Linking stream where I drank a lot and... 
And socialized. Ah, uh, part-time heroes back. Yep. Yeah, that's... It was good for making money in the first place, but now it's just like, alright, the, the returns are diminishing. Oh, God damn it! I oh, and they're playing a, a remix of the uh, Yakuza 1 battle game. They are, yeah. I kind of no I noticed that. <clears throat> I noticed that because I really didn't like the, the battle theme at first. <laughs> it's kind of nice here. Cause it makes way more sense when it's not a beat em up. Oh. God, yeah, they're going to bring Kiryu back for the next game, and it's going to be like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> or they're going to kill him in this game. I don't know. I, I don't. I, mean, I, le I legit do not know, and I'm I'm <laughs> intensely curious. Yakuza 6 was a big send off for Kiryu. Yeah. And, like, you know, Yakuza 7 also had the passing of the torch moment. Right. This is going to keep doing it. It's gonna keep going. The next game is also gonna be like <laughs> Kiryu's farewell. I remember this again. Boy, I seem to be remembering things a lot lately. I hope I'm not getting Alzheimer's. <laughs> Essence of big ass bird. I just learned this. I I don't think we, we're gonna. Uh, I don't think we're gonna uh, like have Kiryu actually leave unless they put him like in a coffin with his face there. <laughs> I made a bird out of birds. <laughs> okay, it's essentially Phoenix. Is it a fire attack? Most of his attacks are fire. Alright, that's a he, thousand damage. He also had regular, like, uh, attacks that were all uh, bird based. I had a friend, um. Well, I had a former friend who was very uh, adamant that they were going to make, like, a prequel with Kazuma. You know, Kiryu's, like, foster father. Uh huh. I could still do that. Yeah. Also, these have become ineffective at curing MP. <laughs> You're standing on my spot. What? What was that noise? Stop moving. Stop moving. Stop moving. God damn it. Well, Tinson, uh is new enough that I think they can just do like a um, a translation and that would be enough. Maybe like spruce up a little bit of the graphics. Just do a remaster, really. Uh huh. Lighten up the graphics on level three. Yeah. Mm. All right. Do I have? No, I do not have meter. Okay, never mind. Then. <laughs> Tenzon's older than Ishin? Okay, never mind what I said then. I told you I thought Ishin was the older one. <laughs> and then just fall Did on every the did they ever get around to making like an enemy that's a, a that's a woman? Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. Nope. And I'm kind of glad they didn't. Because <laughs> then Kyria would have to punch her. <laughs> and we can't have that. No, we can't. It's not. It's not what happens in Yakuza. Follow my lead. I don't even, I'm not even getting into the argument of whether or not, you, you know, if a woman attacks you and intends to kill you, should you hit her back? Is that socially acceptable? I don't know. I think if someone's trying to murder you, yeah, it's okay to defend yourself. That, that's the joke I'm attempting to make. It's not coming across very well. Um, but, uh, 
Kiryu would still not do it. <laughs> it's, the, it's, the, it's the other joke here. This is the worst. He would he would either run or I don't know what he would do. Ichiban might have to punch him. You know. Oh shit. I mean, Ichiban would punch a woman. He would just feel bad about it. He would feel bad about it. Heads up. Thanks. This no okay. Fight. I got meter. Punch, 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 oh, punch, cool. punch, punch, <laughs> punch, 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 get up so I can hit you more. No, 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 don't go over there. Okay, fine, do that. Still, get the guy. I guess you only have access to some moves in that. It's, I think it's, you know what, I haven't tried it yet, but I think it depend. It might depend on your style that you're on. Oh, uh, okay. I, every time I'm on Brawler, because Brawler gets uh, heat actions, mm. uh, I only use Beast when I need to uh, break a grapple, and uh, Rush is good when you want to hit two different enemies. Yeah, we did Essence a huge bird. Big ass bird. We made a bird out of smaller birds and drove it into the enemy. Have fun with this. Your heart's mine. <laughs> I'll show it again, don't worry. So we get Nambus turn up here. Do I have the MP? Yeah, I have the MP. You know what I haven't- I saw in the trailer, or I saw in, like, the promotional materials, I saw one of Tomy's abilities where he throws a guy into a cab and drives him around and then throws him out. <laughs> um, I need to see that one. I, I need to level up Cabby. I haven't gone back to level Cabby. Oh, we can't? Oh, we want a bird. I'm sorry. Bird. My bad, my bad. I'm getting distracted here. Use it. My thanks. I was like, I wanted to do something with Namba, but I couldn't remember what. Something oh, important. Wow. There we go. I was expecting an actual big bird. It's like a really large pigeon. This is acceptable. This is resourceful. Yeah, the Essence animations were really fun. Like, you don't watch them all the time because they're long, but that's... They're supposed to be extremely over the top. Ow, birds. My one weakness. Did you really think you'd win? There's more where this came from. Okay. That guy had a boss guarding it. Ah, that's Kwame too, I think. Yeah. Ah, that takes me back. It's the rose bouquet on the floor. Okay. This is peak. God damn it. One thing I kind of wish they do is, like, you know, make your, you know, 
teammates incorporeal when you walk past them. No, this is amazing. I love it. I love bumping into <laughs> everything all the time. Like this guy. Yeah, it's, it just works during... Uh, for these guys, sure. It's just your teammates so that when you're in tight cramp space, it doesn't take nearly as long. Speaking of which, God, look at this. <laughs> look at this place. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I feel like I've eaten somewhere like here. Oh, before. it's a beef bowl place. Hang on, time to eat everything. Oh, I've already eaten everything. Okay, well I'm eating. I'm eating everything again. Ooh, beef plate and chicken karate. Damn. Let's dig in. Real meat. Have you heard about that one guy who is forced to eat like beef bowls the rest of his life? No. They live up to their slogan. Taste Basically, he's uh, he had like a um. Customer for as long as I can remember. He had like a uh, one of those like refer me and uh, you get ten dollars thing, and he asked his entire fan base to do it. Oh. Right. <laughs> so and he was like, I will uh, only eat beef bowls until the the balance is out. And you know the internet does an internet. <laughs> so he's going to die, right? He's gonna die. Uh, eating beef bowls for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah, it's like starch and protein and like carbs and protein. There's probably no not a lot of vegetables. I think he, start, he tries to like, you know, vary it up so he can get like actual stuff. So he doesn't fucking die. I can't imagine you running fast to save your life, Yeah, it's pretty accurate. So a no on that slogan for you. What would your use on slogan be? Strong, somber, sentimental. <laughs> Again, what was going through your mind for the last part? Um, what do you mean by sentimental? We're going what around thinking about our old memories. School. Like what kids these days call a throwback? It's retro. Oh, Kiryu's yeah. retro. Yeah, that's <laughs> totally what I meant. I get the feeling that at this point, even you don't know what you're talking about. By the way, that slogan... You know, the word order actually changed over time. So, back in the day, it was quick, tasty, and cheap, since that was the process of how you'd experience the meal. Then they started to care more about the tasty part of their reputation. Oh, wow, I had no idea. So they switch it up to reflect the times. That's pretty cool. Yeah, now that's what I call sentimental. Aw, nice try, but no. I wonder what bond level 80 gets me. <laughs> if anything. <laughs> oh, the batting cage where you met Daigo. Yeah. What is that? Uh, that seems like your full catcher. But like, with a calorie made? I don't know. Yeah, I was like, what's in there? No prop. Where's the marks though? I don't see them. Is it up? Is it up? Can I get on top of this building somehow? Yeah, I think maybe there's a staircase inside. Hang on, though. I can't let you live. Oh, shit. The ace ruffians. A different class of ruffian. I feel like this is what cops are going to look like eventually. <laughs> and they're called subjugation come. Well, yeah, you got to put a cute name on your fascism. That's what it worked for the it worked for the pig masks. That's right. <clears throat> all, all cops become YouTubers. I mean 
It's not the most far-fetched thing. Ah, shit. Everyone's spread out. Wait! Yeah, here we go. You know, alcohol doesn't really make that much of a flame. <laughs> unless it's like Everclear. He's been drinking pure absinthe. Absinthe is... How much... Uh, what proof is absinthe, typically? Actually, don't know. Uh, 45 to 74, that's, apparently. That's not a lot. I won't hold back. Oh my god, I can call... I forgot I can call... Snake. Hmm. For 10 million gil. I mean, yen. Yeah, let's do that. I don't need benefits. I'm gonna spend 10 million yen. <laughs> High quality product. Just a moment. Wait, what is this? Oh. <laughs> it's salt. Okay. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Snake. Okay, that's pretty... That's not bad for a full heal. Unfortunately, yeah. it cost 10 million yen. Ice cream says, you know, I think most cops would be too insecure about their masculinity to do a subjugation kun. Probably. That that reminds me. Uh, I'm, I think I brought this up before, but um, I was watching Alone, you know, the, uh, the reality show. Mm -hmm. And, like, one of the contestants was a cop. And, like, he was, like, the first person to leave because, you know, the entire premises of Alone is that you survive in the wilderness for, like, as long as possible. Alone. Yeah. Okay. He lasted 30 minutes. Why that? <laughs> why? Why? Why 30 minutes? Yeah. He thought he heard a bear and got scared and left. Oh. I mean, that could happen. <laughs> I mean, in that case, you need to probably... I don't know. <laughs> Climb a tree? I don't know if that works. Oh, depends on the bear. Right, certain bears can climb trees. Yeah, I think black bears can climb trees. That must have been really uh, hard to be in a place without a gun. Yeah. God, that reminds me, the person who, like, left right after him was a guy who was like, this is the longest I've ever stayed without my gun. He was only <laughs> gone for an hour. He's like, I, I, I can't protect myself. 
and he left like an hour later being like, I, 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 I feel defenseless just because he didn't have a gun on him. Because he didn't have a fucking gun. Night armor. Holy shit. We should relish this moment. Claws. Yes. <laughs> it's even better than cyber armor. It is. Oh yes, uh, like uh, I think the Kyoto armor was like the best one in the previous game. <clears throat> it looks exactly like that. Does it? Yeah. Kyoto. Oh, there's a back entrance. There's a back entrance over there. I just noticed. Oh, and there's the stairs up. Yeah. So this has got to be one of them where you can. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> this brings back memories. It's not here, so it's got to be upstairs. Good to go. Yeah, those bears could have had fentanyl. <laughs> that would have made them three times as dangerous as a regular bear. I mean, you heard a cocaine bear. This is way worse yeah. than that. <laughs> it, di it dies immediately, and it's not a threat to you at all. <laughs> like it walks into a town, and everyone dies. Everyone dies. It's it's like it's like a dirty bomb, basically. That's was Shinada, the guy who um, they don't bring back anymore because um, his actor got like caught for like doing drugs. Or is that the guy from Yakuza 4? I think you're correct. Uh, I think it's the guy from Yakuza 0, and I think it might have been him. I'm not certain, but I definitely heard that about somebody in Yakuza 0. Yeah, because I know that that's, there's also Pierre Taki in Judgment, but it's not Pierre Taki in Judgment who I'm referring to. Mm hmm. God, yeah, you get caught with drugs in Japan. And that's uh, it's kind of your career. Pretty much. That's that's wild to me. Of all the things you could do, there's like three of these for the Millennium Tower. It's but they've been around the area. Oh, this is the empty lot. Yeah, this is where we used to get into the empty lot, right? Right. That's. Nostalgic. It's gonna be a steep final level, I bet. Uh, children's Park. You know what? No. <laughs> Namba. How much is a Segway? I should never knew, uh, bother to check. Because why would I buy a Segway? Hey! Pocket circuit racing! Oh no! No! <laughs> Neat! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! I'll race you to the pocket circuit stadium! Oh my god, is he still there? Really? Pocket circuit stadium? Kamurocho actually has one again. Ah, pocket circuit. <laughs> Those little radio-controlled race cars. It's a surprisingly deep hobby, competing against others on elaborate racetracks. Destroying children. There was a time I was the fastest pocket circuit racer in Kamurocho, taking on all comers. I got to know the kids who frequented the place through racing and modding our cars together. 
And I even formed a lasting friendship with a pocket circuit fighter that managed our location. Last time I saw him was back in Onomichi. Hope he's doing all right. Stop being so annoying. Let me play how I want, fighter. Hmm? But that customization you put together won't work, Kojiro-kun. Try these tires instead. They'll give you more friction on turns. I'm, I'm min-maxing your car, kid. Come on. Just once, buddy. For me? Knock it off. The tires I have are the best. They're purple. <laughs> Purple's cool, <laughs> but the color doesn't make it race better. Don't you want to stay on the track? No, shut up already. Fighter, you suck. <laughs> you find something to do at the park. Yeah. This You're is ruining the, the reputation of Poppet Circuit Fighter. <laughs> oh, God. He doesn't understand. Oh, just give it a little more time. It's fun. Not again. This is the Pokemon trainer who does Jeez, way too much EV shit. Mm-hmm. Versus the guy with six Pikachu. Oh well, better clean up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Huh? A golden tiger. <laughs> oh? You, uh, you recognize it? Hmm. I used to race here actually. Back with the first pocket circuit fighter. Whoa! <laughs> wow. You're an OG. So, my name's Muranaka. I'm a new fighter, employed by the Pocket Circuit Company themselves. I can't believe I'm Pocket a... Fighter, uh, Pocket Circuit gets well, as as Pocket a whole thing goes. voice. That's amazing. <laughs> Kazuma-kun, huh? Pleasure to meet you. <clears throat> so if you knew this branch's first fighter, you must go back a while. I started in the bubble era. Must have been 30 years ago now. Okay, so this is not the oh, same guy. That would have been the first He's got the period. jacket though. Oh, amazing. Oh yeah, no the um there to see it. Is it true? The first guy's really old now. <laughs> yeah. Then? I'd say so. From what I recall, it really swept the country for a time. Then one day the Kamurocha Stadium was gone. I'm surprised to see it come back now. Ah, oh, yeah, it it did die down for a while, but Recently, there's been a surge of interest. The market. There was a manga in an anime. That's funny. I didn't know that. that we have a new company <laughs> it was like a real thing. He's a pocket circuit fanatic, apparently. Like I knew the slot so cars were a thing. I didn't realize there was a brand came with up them. With a bunch of innovative yeah, I didn't realize it was the actual brand. I thought it was a. Back into RC racing. Hmm. A kind That's of an analog. Mm-hmm. So, what made you want to be a pocket circuit fighter? Everything else aside. The cars. Pocket circuit cars fascinate me. Pocket circuit's popularity was waning by the time I got into it, but I didn't care. I'd spend every afternoon customizing my rig. All of my meager allowance went toward building the best machine I could. I, I have a have problem. In school, but eventually, <laughs> pocket circuit is my life. People through pocket circuit. It was like finding my place in the world. It was so much fun in those days. I get it. That made you want to become a fighter. Yup. It was the fighter at my local branch who approached me when he saw that I would race alone. He helped bring me together with the other kids. I finally made friends. All thanks to him. That's the person I want to be. Someone who can help cheer kids up when they're going through hard times. That's a true pocket circuit fighter. I think that's the right idea. You're a good fit. Except, this job's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. When it comes to pocket circuit tech, nobody knows more than me. <laughs> that's the problem. Want to pass on that knowledge. Teach kids the best customizations. Support their curiosity. But when I try, oh, I can't get through to them. The kids all seem to hate me. Maybe I'm just not cut out to be a fighter. Now that I'm 30, it might be time to move back home. <laughs> well, every pocket fighter has this uh, uh, crisis. crisis. <laughs> yeah. It's just that back in my day, the fighter here was in a very similar position. He and I raced together a lot. I have nothing but good memories of him. 
It's been a long time, but I still consider him a close friend. You really had that kind of bond? Hmm. He was a great spokesperson for the hobby, and good with kids. Still, he had his share of troubles. The company never saw him as more than a disposable part-timer. When he had 30, he had a hard time staying with it. Wow. What did he do? He decided to remain a fighter. He loved Pocket Circuit. The kids loved him. In the end, he couldn't turn away from that love. The kids loved him, huh? <laughs> Makes me jealous. If I only had a better relationship with them, I wouldn't be so conflicted. Let me ask, what do you imagine the kids there want from you? Me? Well, I'm the Pocket Circuit fighter. They want me to teach them the best way to race, don't they? That's an important part of it. The fighter should be someone you can consult on builds. However, do you really think that's what children are looking for? Huh? You told me about the fighter who helped you as a kid, but you didn't mention his technical expertise. Did you decide to become a fighter because he made you a faster car? Did you idolize him because he taught you which tire set takes sharp turns better? Of course not. He meant the world to me because... when I had nobody... he rescued me from my loneliness. I think you understand now. What is it the children want from their fighter? You know the answer, don't you? Kazuma-kun... You're right. This whole time, I've been mistaken. Wait, when did Pocket we tell uh, him his, our hobby, name? But that's not its heart. It can't uh, be at the very really beginning. Did we? Thing. That was First and foremost, that was dumb. It's about having fun Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I looked past something so obvious. Oh, no wonder the kids hate me. Well, better luck next time. Okay, see ya. It's not too late, you know. Right. I'm gonna find those kids. I gotta stalk those kids and tell them that I'm not going to annoy them about their car builds, but please come back. <laughs> That's right. Tell them that. Take to that lesson. Oh, thanks so much, Kazuma-kun. Fighter away. Maybe I'll go check on them. Yeah, I should. I should follow up on this one. Hang on. <laughs> Can't wait for the reveal that he is also a virgin somehow. <laughs> and Kiryu just nods and is like, yeah, no. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. I went down the uh, into the sewer once. Oh, the children's park. Okay. Yep, no, sewer system. Feels like just yesterday. We are almost done. Oh, there's one in Tenkaichi Street. Tenkaichi Alley, sorry. Okay, yeah, that's that's the... Yeah. Where am I? I'm up there. Okay. Let's... Save somebody? Wait, this is the wrong way. I should check in on uh building stuff. Mm -hmm. I haven't done that in a while. I'm sure I've been getting crystals. I don't know how many crystals I've got. 
Probably not a lot, but still maybe enough to get to a weapon. I'm trying... Are we close to getting the ultimate? I feel like I'm close to get The ultimate seem to be you need to buy something really expensive. It's like 14 million yen. I mean, it's not too expensive, but you get the idea. Uh, mm -hmm. And then mod it with some rare materials. Yeah, that's uh, how it worked uh, in Yakuza 7, where you had, like, the weapon, and then you needed <laughs> another weapon to, like, augment into it. Oh, yeah. Sir? Hey, what's the matter? Are you alright? You need like an Adivin or something? Got it. Just hold on. No. Stop. Don't call an ambulance. Okay, I get it, but I can't afford it. This isn't the time for that. You could die. Even if I survived this, I'd just be assumed dead. If those thieving debt collectors come out. Don't worry, I have 30 million on me. He'll be fine. Ah, damn it. Then what should I do? If he's refusing an ambulance, how can I help him? Should I look for a hospital nearby? It's okay, I've got money. But what are the chances of finding a hospital in the heart of Kamurocho? You've been here for 40 Wait, years, my man. I'm right near. That's right. Emoto Medical Clinic, home to Kamurocho's best physician. He'll treat this guy for free. It's been ages since we first met. Wouldn't matter if all of society turned its back on you. Doc Emoto doesn't refuse anyone in need. I respect the man. Good to know he's still kicking. Hang in there, all right? I'm gonna get you to a doctor. You collapsed in the right place. I thought this was a scam at first. Oh. Guess I can't just pick him up. I don't think you should pick up a guy who's having a heart attack. Doc, sorry to barge in. It's an emergency. <laughs> huh? Where is Dr. Emoto? Uh, I'm Dr. Emoto, but if you're looking for my father, he's out currently. I'm sure he'll be back soon. Oh. Then you must be. But didn't you just say there's an emergency? Oh, well, let's not waste time chatting. What's the situation? Can patient move on his own? A homeless man collapsed. He's having some sort of attack. He's on the street right now and won't take an ambulance. Understood. This kind of thing is fairly typical. My apologies, but I'll need your help carrying him in. Weird. I see a lot of this. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know what. I assume that. All right now. When it yes, comes to things like fine. healthcare, He's I assume there's no grass is greener patients. kind of situation. <laughs> really, <laughs> you know. Though this time around, it was your intervention that ended up. I assume Japan him. is pretty rough right now. That's a relief. Should look up the ja Japanese healthcare so system real quick. Yeah, days. if anybody knows, I'd be well, interested to hear. The years have taken their toll. In fact, that's more noticeable lately. Were you a patient of my father's? No, I'm not exactly. Huh? What's going on here? He injured? He collapsed after having another attack. Seems he ran out of the meds you prescribed. That gentleman over there made me aware of the situation. So we were able to prevent a disaster. Ah, oh, I see. Thank you. And I'm sure he'd like to personally extend his thanks when he comes to. No, there's no need for that. I've got to head out soon. Earlier, it sounded as though you knew my father personally. Well, I've heard a few things here and there, but it was quite a while ago. Hmm. Did you hear good things or <laughs> bad things? All good things. <laughs> well, I suppose I should thank my lucky stars. So, you run this clinic with your daughter now? Hell no. This is my clinic. She's just a busybody who barges in whenever she feels like it. Taking after me was 100% her idea. True, I was never asked, but someone has to keep this place running. No matter what my dad says. 
I've told him he can retire any time, but he absolutely refuses to settle down. Uh, what's wrong? <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> I love it. I, love, I know a lot of doctors and nurses smoke. That's not surprising. It's just that you're doing it in the office with a patient. Yeah. It's really funny to me. Come to think of it, I heard he died a few years ago. He was a legend among the Yakuza here in Kamrocho. You don't say. <laughs> that voice. You even sound just like him. He's not but that different looking. Not if anything, he hasn't aged a day over <laughs> 40. I accused a friend of faking his own death all those years ago. Preposterous. Yeah. Unfortunately, you've got the wrong guy. I'm just passing through. Right. But I did haunt Kamurocho often in the past. I've heard a lot about you. In a town that only cares about money and women. There's a doctor who'll help anybody in need. A man of great character. <laughs> well, that's pretty exaggerated. But it's nice to know that I'm a trusted physician. What's with this heavy atmosphere? You two can just tell me if I'm in the way. Oh, that's not it. I'm going on break. You guys, take your time. <laughs> This is the best character, this lady. She's like, she's ultra confident and just like, doesn't care about any drama. One look at her. She's completely immune to Yakuza's bullshit. Isn't that the truth? Why is not is she not a party member? It's her way or the highway. But that's the right attitude to have when running a clinic like this. And patients seem to prefer being treated by her rather than an old grouch like me. <laughs> These days, all anyone ever seems to ask me is when I'm going to retire. That's a shame. Damn straight. It only gets me even more fired up. At this rate, I'll be a doctor until my dying day. <laughs> Those ungrateful patients can't get rid of me yet. It was good to see you. Dakimoto. As someone who treats the injured and infirm, I can't exactly ask you to come again soon. But I'm here for you. Even if you're guarding secrets, you can trust me. Doctor patient confidentiality, you know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. No, Lord knows I'm gonna get shot again somehow. Yeah. Times have changed, and even the Tojo clan is long gone. But some things never change. Hm. Looks like I'm still no match for you, Dakimoto. Looking it up, apparently, it, like, it's not exactly free, but it, it is relatively inexpensive. So, if you're homeless, though, inexpensive is still a lot. Inexpensive is still something. It's, you know. What did I miss? I feel like I missed one or two. I think you just have the rest of the Pocket Circuit one. And that's about it. Hopefully they played a Pocket Circuit Racer team. Hey kid, you want to make your car go real fast? Short stuff. 
Pocket car mugger. Oh shit! I was I was exact. I was right. Huh? Don't be such a greedy brat. Well, you want to get hit? Premium models wasted on some dumbass kids. I'll make this thing fly. But I spent my whole allowance on it. I don't care. Go in before I kill you. The, the lady voicing that kid is Don't just barely <laughs> putting on a voice. Huh? Is that the nerd I think it is? <laughs> nerd? No! Try Pocket Circuit Fighter! And that's Kojiro kun's car. Hand it over. <laughs> Shit! Pocket Jerk Off Fighter's actually lecturing you! <laughs> <laughs> crawl back into whatever boomer ass manga they cribbed your outfit from! <laughs> <laughs> you know how we'd put a car like that to better use than some moron toddlers. Don't you want faster races at your rinky dink stadium? Unlike our cool you know, underground so stuff in our mom's basement. Treats kids race on my tracks. Pocket circuit may be competitive, but it's not the fastest who wins the day. It's whoever has the most fun. You two blockheads don't deserve pocket circuit. That's right, gatekeep your hobby. <laughs> it's not safe here. Move along, please. But fighter. Don't worry about me. Now go. Okay. Now. Just you and me. Right. Listen up. You're dealing with the pocket circuit fighter now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, cheap shot. So that's how it is. <laughs> hey, this nerd's literally as weak as he looks. <laughs> Look at you in that oversized tip bag. This fighter can suck my ass. For real. What kind of virgin devotes his whole life to toy cars? No, I'm not a virgin. You folks, seen your dumb cosplay? <laughs> Go home. If your family ain't disowned you yet, maybe they can find you a real job. Fighter. Kojiro Kun's car. Handed. Over. Shut the fuck up! Ugh. Damn it! Ugh. My race isn't right yet. That's right, keep getting punched. <laughs> He's actually out cold. Let's teabag him. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? That's very straight of you, kid. <laughs> Who are you? That's very hetero. Nobody besides a pop. Bro, you want to get really hetero? You, you should teabag him. Big mistake just now. <laughs> Now be quiet and give me the card. Kiri was like, I was gonna watch this, and then you had to get vulgar. <laughs> Bro, I just wanted to uh, steal the car. I didn't want to sexually assault him. No, 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 teabag him. Go. Bring it on. Time to shine. It's time. Oh, I forgot I should have used the coffee. Don't crit. Yeah. Awesome. This is a special fight, so it's probably got special shit with it. Oh, yeah. Probably a lot of money. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Probably when you win the fight. Let's see if he's got an item. Okay, I can buy those now, but whatever. Yeah, there's some money. That should do it. We're just gonna leave him there, passed out. Is that you, Kojiro Kun? Yes, it's me. Are you okay, Fighter? Yeah, I'll be all right. Are any of you hurt? Uh, uh all because you protected us. 
Thanks so much. Lighter, you're so strong. We never knew. Huh? What? Me? Well, look. Those bullies are all knocked out. You did that. Oh. Was that... Me? You went There's into your secret berserker around. state. You're the coolest fighter. <laughs> um, I'm really happy you got my car back. Don't worry about it. It's a fighter's job to keep the racer safe. Fighter, you... You did all of this for us. After I said such mean stuff to you. I swear, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I promise, Kojiro-kun. It's okay. Just mod I'm your car. Sorry. <laughs> you only wanted to have fun customizing your kit. I tried to force my way of doing things onto you, but you never asked me to. I assumed you'd be happier if you won more often, but you were smart enough to know what matters to you. I was a crummy fighter. I forgot the most important thing about Pocket Circuit. Please, forgive me. Fighter! Hey, I know how to make it all okay. Let's race together. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Take us back to the stadium, fighter. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. Um, I might need to buy a couple bandages first. I need a drink I first. <laughs> I have a headache. Sure, we'll wait for you there. <laughs> Kiryu, this is well done. You're sir. a spy, Kiryu, come on. You earned that title. Murinaka-kun. Hmm? Uh, president. What? Ah, uh, the president of Pocket Circuit Racing. <laughs> what? Oh. No way. Of course. Fighter said the new president was a fanatic. I got a call on my pocket phone that a fighter was in a scuffle and rushed over. Are you alright? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just fine, sir. And no harm came to the children. I see. Well, thank goodness. You did the right thing protecting them, Murinaka-kun. Huh. Any fighter worth their stripes would do the same. Uh, his Murinaka business has really blown up. Different about you. Have you found some new motivation? Do you think so? Kazuma-kun's to thank then, probably. Kazuma-kun? Yes, sir. He's a truly noble man and a racer since the bubble era. I was beginning to doubt my value as a fighter. To be honest, Kazuma-kun heard me out and gave me advice fit for a sage. He opened my eyes, sir. How about that? Kazuma-kun. You say he helped you through a personal crisis. Yes, absolutely. Sounds just like him. May I ask? He helped me get laid. <laughs> you might know him, sir? Hmm. He happens to be an, uh... An important old man. <laughs> oh, I should have realized. Kazuma could mentioned knowing the first fighter. He called you a friend, too. He did, did he? If it's all right, sir, I should get back to the stadium. The kids are waiting for me. He just keeps that in his wallet. Yeah, no, Every it's day. an important friend. Oh, Murinaka-kun. If you happen to see Kazuma-kun again, give him a message. I would love another race someday, friend. You got it, sir. I won't forget. See you again, Mr. President. You called me your friend, huh? Pocket Circuit sure is special, Kazuma-kun. If we, uh, if I ever see you again, let's laugh together. Let's cry, let's shout. Just like the kids do. Like we used to back then. Let's race, Kazuma-kun. <laughs> These are so funny. <laughs> he is so good. Yes. Yes. Is that well memories obtained? Is that is that it? Hang on.
I'm missing two. Can't remember. Probably uh, how many chapters do you have left? There may be others that I haven't unlocked yet. Yeah, so there might be like a couple of chapters that you need to do first. Good God. Well, let's take a short break uh, so I can grab a drink because I ran out of water. We'll be right back. Oh, my mic's on. <laughs> Welcome back. I don't. I think the DSP situation was less the mic and more the camera, but yeah. Yeah, for all the times I jack off on stream. <laughs> yeah, I'm jacking off right now, actually. Yeah, I, you know. You only need one hand to play this game. Whoa. <laughs> uh. All right. Oh yeah, right. I totally forgot it the second time. What do you mean it happened a second time? <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're back in the Jin show. There's no turning back. Okay, so they want me to go here when I have shit to do. Um, I guess hello work?
Changing classes. Could change classes. Maybe it's time I change styles. I don't think Kirio needs to change classes. Yeah. Eh, whatever works. I wish I knew if I was going to keep getting essence attacks, because I have no idea with this game anymore. You can. You can uh, press Y. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So 30 is the final attack. No, I don't know about this. Essence of Champagne Wave. Okay. Eh, whatever works. Oh, yeah, only one level off. That yeah, one. I might as well get that. <laughs> you can dress him as Tomizawa to make it even more confusing. <laughs> this isn't bad. Just find something presentable. Now, what about this with those That's a great shoes? outfit. <laughs> yeah, it is. I thought uh, this works fine. Um, we're going to keep her as Night Queen for a bit. We're bringing it back. Um, the time. There's a lot of things he could be. Right now, he's really not excelling at either attack or, or magic, so I'm really not sure what to give him. I guess that means I can make him whatever I want. Right. Yeah. I mean, samurai gives you like the bonuses, right? If yeah. Samurai will give samurai will give you you know blade resistance and extra attack and defense. So maybe, oh, I mean the stat increases. Hard to improve on perfection. You can check with Y, right? Like oh, this gives you HP and MP. Yeah. There are like individual stats you get for every level. Hmm. Ooh, I make this look good, baby. Wow, that's a really nice shirt. Ooh, this drip. We're bringing it back. Now's the time. Seiko, you're still on the bench. For another year. <laughs> <laughs> she still hasn't talking to Ichiban. She still hasn't spoken to Ichiban. I kind of don't. I, I don't know if I forgive that. It's at that point. I mean, he is in a different country, doing stuff. You could be like. I don't know. And you can say anything, <laughs> literally. Like, okay, I'm not mad anymore. <laughs> First impressions are key. Hmm. Damn, her ninja outfit is pretty good. Hmm, what's in this season? Ooh, bite. Both of these are pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, she's really more of a magic character. Yeah. First impressions are so I think Geodancer would be better. Probably. Red or pink. The red works on there. Oh, I'm in love with it. Hmm, what's in this? <laughs> I could make this work. Um, you're still on the bench though. <laughs> Um. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so the gear a bit. I've got, I've got poison wine. For a little less, I might do poison wine. Mm hmm. Do I really not have a better hat for you? Oh, that gives you an extra five magic, which, whatever. Just have an extra 50 magic in the pocket. Here, have this have, have this military vest mm -hmm. for your uh, for your geo dancer outfit, and this and these iron geta. 
really make it hard for you. Uh huh. Yeah. Really say that? No. <laughs> oh. No. Well, that settles that. It's such a staple of fiction, though. <laughs> Truly, someone must have said it at least once. No, Steve, Kiryu. You understand, Kiryu-san? Let's well, suppose we leave the or me out of it. Meal or bath? Which do you go for first? Well, that's all I was curious about, anyway. I wasn't trying to be chauvinistic. Hmm. I'm not sure then. I think I'd want to get clean first. Uh, think I'd go with dinner. An empty stomach's too distracting. Ah, sounds like the vote is split. Curious, son. Where do you stand? I need to eat first. You can't relax if you're hungry. Exactly. You totally get it. Well, looks like you two are on the same wavelength. Well, how about you, Zhao? Dinner. That way I can wash off any oil splatters and junk in the bath later. That's right. Oh, interesting. You're thinking from the cook's point of view. Oh, well, I guess a man can dream. So you do want some little submissive housewife. <laughs> <laughs> if you like, I'll ask it to you. <laughs> that would be a true honor. Okay, what do we got here? Lightning staff. I need 11 more electric crystal. It's also the scepter of oblivion. <laughs> I need lava crystals for them and a shark fin. I might need to go hunting for sharks. Yep, time to go kill a shark. Boost magic attack damage the more enemies there are. Oh, and I can lower fire resistance. That's actually, mm -hmm. that's, that's stupid good. Um, this one's just electric. Yep. Specter of Oblivion, I assume this is ultimate. Host sparkling wine. Gonna need a lot more empty cough drop tins, though. Yeah. Squid tentacles. Oh, man, those are super expensive. Ice crystal. Chef de cuisine. just a really shiny spoon increases mp cost of skills boost skill damage i just need tentacles for this one mm -hmm. squid tentacles huh what about the idol um, Idol's on the other... Well, Idol is really buried at this point. I've got the ability I want from Idol. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I switched out of... Alright, how about Samurai? Three more Rainbow Crystals and I can do this one. Mm -hmm. What does the Enchanted Demon Slayer need? Samurai's katana. I don't know where that is. And squid tentacles, of course. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what, what, what were you looking for? The base version of the sword, right? Yeah, it might be over here. Or wait, no. Yeah. Base version can be found on the Sky Bridge near Hama Kita Park. Mm. Agent Show. Hama Kita Park? Sky Bridge? Yeah. <coughs> uh, okay, I see it. Uh, if you go to Hama Kita Park. You see the uh, bridge? Yeah, you see the bridge right in the middle? The T? Uh, on the road. Oh, here? Yeah, 
That's about the sky bridge. You saying there's a drop there? Well, you can get it from somebody. I can. Oh. Uh, this could be ugly. All right, let's see how we get up. Oh, there's just stairs up there. I never noticed this. This is a sky bridge. No, I guess not. <coughs> no. Let me double check. Wait. Should I open it? Open. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Ichiban Senbei! This is like a dragon. I need uh, infinite wealth, people. Oh, okay. <coughs> that is indeed the wrong bridge. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the I, the right bridge, uh, I can point it to you when you're in the main map. Okay. So go up. You see the bridge? Yeah, right there. Here. You see that? I've been here yeah, before. You see, yeah, you go up the the U shaped stairway <laughs> and should be there. Oh, there is an encounter up there. Yup. Follow my lead. Ready for the knockout. Let's finish this. You're going to regret this. Let's do it. I'll take In for the kill. This is gonna be a good Ah, now you've got burning arrow. How much damage can you do with that? Oh, shit. Oh shit, Odachi! I won't hold back. Yeah? Nothing personal. This will be tough. Okay. Watch this. Oh, a shotgun! <laughs> He's got everything. Oh shit, I should be stealing from him, shouldn't I? Okay, not what I wanted, but okay. Yes. 
Not bad. Mm, that was one sexy dish. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, I made Namba extremely drunk. Yeah, not bad. Whoa, what's wrong? Are you all right? I was haggling on this flea market app when some jerk sniped the thing I wanted. Aww, it was good perfume. I should have just paid the asking price. Well, no use crying over spilled milk. Early bird gets the worm. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be. Happens for a reason. Seriously? That's the best you can do? I get where you're coming from? <laughs> oh, none, Sean. One time, the volunteers ran out of pork stew right in front of me. I was so excited for that stew. I hadn't made any other provisions for food. And I knew it was first come, first serve, but still. It broke my heart. But I'm here for you. If I got through it, you can too. Thanks, Nanchan. I uh, appreciate the context. Talking with Namba has to be difficult because it's like, if you complain about anything, I was homeless, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Flowers. All right, so I got my... <clears throat> Oh, okay. It's not a good katana, but it, it evolves into the best thing. Um, how do I check? I think you go into your... What's it? You, you go into your mobile phone, and I think it's under the, uh, the factory. Yeah. Three rainbow crystals, squid tentacles. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, I've got enough rainbow crystals. I'm sorry. I just need squid tentacles, which I don't think I have enough for that, but... I've got all these. <laughs> I was wondering if I had, like, a unclaimed get a bunch of shit DLC that could help me and solve my problem. Um, the squid tentacles, the only place I've seen them are over here. There is one guaranteed drop before the final dungeon. We're gonna fight a giant squid. Eighteen thousand. Good God. Mm. That's rough. Also, rainbow or uh, uh, cough drop ten. Yeah. They're two thousand apiece. I got to do more dungeoning. I am over leveled as it is. So I do not want to do more dungeoning. Are you, are you at like the bottom? Yeah. And I am over leveled. <laughs> oh god, I should, hated that. Should I just run it? Like it's gonna take a while. I don't want to do it. Nah, uh, I would just say do like, I don't know. No, I'm gonna move on. I, I don't need the ultimate weapons right now. True. <clears throat> I thought you were going to do the uh, the rest of the memories here before we're heading out. Yeah. I'm sure there's still time. Right? Right. Right. Time to get on the train. Okay. Oh, the train. Wait. I think the stairs stairs up right next to the taxi. Recommended level forty one. I think I'm fine. Uh huh. Yep. How long we 
you been on the road? Hey, you could have always stayed back in Yokohama, you know. <laughs> well, maybe. If I'd have known we were gonna take the scenic route. No kidding. Still, Kiryu-san's probably better off with a friend or two. So there's that. Hmm. Agreed. Looks like it's gonna snow. Sorry about this. None of the taxis were willing to make the trip. Uh, no surprise there. Long distance is a gamble for them. You need someone who will hitch a ride back, and where we're going, those are few and far in between. Rare sight to behold, honestly. Not many people would want to go up this way. You might even be the first. How come? You guys work in television or something? No. Just visiting a couple of old friends. It's been a long time. The second great dissolution is the only way to dissolve the remaining Yakuza groups oh, within right. the country. Perhaps to Ebina, it's just a means to an end, but to Arakawa, it was his dying wish. Knowing that, I swallowed my pride and left prison to see it through. However, Ebina's taken more control of the Seriyu clan than I could have imagined. He's got me under 24-7 surveillance, no matter what I do. I can't even be alone unless I take measures like this. If we're really going to pull this off, I need reinforcements. Reinforcements? Yes. That includes you, Kiryu-san. If you'll permit me to do so. Granted, I understand your situation's tricky. I can't ask you to step back into the limelight. Certainly not at the moment. Now then, this may come off as rude, but instead, I'd like to ask you a favor. What is it? Daigo Dojima, Goro Majima, and Taiga Saijima. Three of the most legendary Yakuza of all time. If anyone can help the second dissolution, it's them. You want me to ask them? Yes. I believe we need their influence in order to fulfill Arakawa's will. And rightly this time. After the disbanding of the Tojo and the Omi, its former members established a security company out in Osaka. It was a refuge for old Yakuza who'd lost their way. But for all their efforts, the company went under after just a year. Since then, Daigo-san and the others have disappeared. Well, sorry to say, but I don't know where they... Even if you can't contact them, you must have some idea where they might have gone, yes? <sighs> You're not the type to leave them alone for good. You're the only person who could drag them back out into the open. Please, I don't have anywhere else to turn. I do know that they disappeared. However, I'm not really sure why. So, guess we start from there. Sorry, guys. In case it wasn't clear, I'll be out for a few days. Mm. Old friends, huh? Gosh, these fellas must be pretty eccentric. Don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> no one in their right mind would live out there. No, sir. Who knows? I'm sure they've got their reasons. Reasons, sure. Well, give it two, maybe three more hours on the road. Oh, there's that snow. Better bundle up, friend. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. We'll hang out here. Appreciate it. One thing? Maybe try to make it quick. The sooner we get out of this cold, the better. Sure. You didn't even knock, Kiryu. You know, it may be a shack, but it's still home. <laughs> Maybe try knocking. Little manners will go a long way, after all. I need you to come out of retirement. Getting old, Kiryu chan. Time will do that, Majima san. <gasps> Kiryu san. <sighs> A lot's happened. <laughs> Guess that goes for all of us, eh? Have a seat. Least we can do is pour you a drink. Haven't seen you since the dissolution. It's been four years already. Last I'd heard, you had a security company out in Sotembori. <laughs> had. And hey, look where we are now. What about you, Kiryu-san? You doing okay these days? You don't look yourself, if I'm being honest. Actually, that's no surprise. I've got cancer. They gave me half a year. <sighs> you what? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Even the dragon, huh? Guess no one's safe. Guess not. Well, if you're short on time, might as well drink up. Doubt Hell's got a good selection. Majima-san, the man's dying for pity's sake. It's all right, Daigo. Might be crude, but he's not wrong. Better to enjoy things while I can. Long as I'm still here, I'll keep pushing along. Well, better not waste your time with us, then. Fine. What happened to you? How'd you all end up here? Who cares about us? This is no place for someone in your condition. You need to be back in the city. I'll get you a car and... Daigo. Honestly, do you think you'd learn by now? <sighs> you think Kiryu-chan here is gonna listen to that? <sighs> it's been so long almost forgotten. <laughs> really, I suppose this is just like old times. So, you want to know what happened? Is that it? The world happened. That's what. <laughs> we lost. <laughs> Settle in, because it'll take a minute. Now, when we set up the company, we knew from day one there'd be risks involved. I mean... This happened right after we dissolved two major clans. How could there not be? We knew we'd get people's attention. Especially since we were all former Yakuza. Knowing you, I'll bet you tried to mitigate that. Of course. Naturally, I tried to take every precaution possible beforehand. I used all our connections from both the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. Talked with the media and the higher-ups. Granted, most things don't come for free. Close to 70,000 lives were on the line, and the five-year ex-Yakuza clause would have swallowed them whole if not for that. I did what I felt was necessary. I'm not here to tell you whether you made the right choices. 
There's only one thing I want to know. Where did it go wrong? Well, things were great at the beginning. Gradual as it was, we built a fairly large clientele. I mean, plenty of businesses need protection. We had the men for the job. When it came to reintegrating criminals back into society, it seemed like we were doing just about everything right. All that said, after the first year, we started seeing some issues. Something with the employees come up? No. Online accusations. A popular channel did a feature on our company. We got canceled. Thanks to that, all of our ex-Yakuza employees were exposed. They even aired out the backdoor deals I'd made with the government and media. Hang on. This channel, it wasn't... The Tatara channel. Hmm. <laughs> Same Damn that VTuber. And it wasn't just the deals. It was everything. They got their hands on every scandal they could find. They stretched the truth paper thin. And we ended up taking the heat. Maybe. But even with all the stretching... We still did what we did to get ahead. In light of that, there wasn't much we could say in our defense. Before long, our customers started leaving one after another. Government boys washed their hands of us, too. Talk about heartless. From there, all eyes were on us. The world was watching our every move. We were at a standstill. And the company's finances dwindled as a result. It was then word broke out among the employees. The Yakuza life was calling them back. I mean, you got former Chairman Daigo up top, and we're right there with him. Ain't hard to see. If we wanted to start things up, we definitely had the means. Among some employees, there were even talks that we were planning to revive the Tojo clan. All sorts of rumors made their way around. The company was in shambles, and in such short time. It's a miracle we didn't go sooner. Thanks to the Tatara channel, society wanted nothing to do with us, and those inside started longing for the old days. For their sake, we figured we ought to shove off. They needed a fresh start, and we weren't helping their case. I see. That explains why you're out here. If we really wanted to see the great disillusion through, this was the best way. That's what we concluded, at least. <sighs> I think I get what happened. Do you know Ebina of the Seiryu clan? He took over the Great Dissolution once you left, at least on the surface. Yes, I know the name. I've never met him, though. Two years ago, we got a tip that he was out looking for us. Two years ago? That was right around when Takabe got locked up. That's right. Ebina replaced Takabe, but that's more or less all he's known for. His name alone isn't enough to unite the Yakuza, not on a grand scale anyhow. He'd need a few poster boys, which is probably why he wanted us. Little did he know, that ship had already sailed. Yeah, that was part of it. However, there was something else that bothered me. <clears throat> The man was due for a background check. And what we found was odd, to say the least. Ebina was raised by a single mother. But she died when he was in middle school. Afterward, his family name was changed. He became the Ebina we knew today. But the name he had before... It was Hikawa. Hikawa? Ebina's mother's name is Yuriko Hikawa. She's the Hikawa family patriarch's daughter. Hikawa family? You mean Masumi Arakawa's old family? That Hikawa? Correct. And did you know that Arakawa-san and this Yuriko Hikawa were once engaged? Right. The patriarch pushed the proposal on him, I'm pretty sure. Yes, but Arakawa-san already had a woman he loved. That was Akane-san. However, despite that fact, he couldn't just go against his own boss's wishes. And so, he kept a relationship with Yuriko-san as well. Now, this brings up a good question. Just who is Ebina's father? Oh. You don't mean... This is all just speculation, of course. 
but Masumi Arakawa may in fact be Ebina's father. Ebina is around Kasuga's age, give or take. Even their birth dates are similar. So Kasuga and Ebina, you're saying they could be half brothers? We told you it was odd, didn't we? But if that's really the case, I can't imagine Arakawa would just abandon his own son. Judging from when Ebina was born, Arakawa-san must not have known about Yuriko's pregnancy. And after the Hikawa family all but collapsed, Yuriko gave birth without a soul knowing. From her perspective, Arakawa not only killed her father, he also abandoned her son, leaving them completely alone. I can only imagine the anger and spite she must have felt. And what if that anger was passed down to Ebina? Ebina does hold a lot of hatred for Arakawa. Exactly. So it's hard to imagine that Ebina would take up Arakawa-san's legacy. The second great disillusion was all the man ever wanted. So you guys kept your silence, and as a result, Tawashira was chosen for the task instead. <sighs> yes, I believe that's the case. Yep, that about wraps it up. But hey, I'm sure you didn't come all this way for story time now, did you? That's right. Actually, I have a favor I want to ask you. I want you guys to help out, Sawashiro. As it turns out, he's trying to fulfill Arakawa's wish, too. Bringing about the second great dissolution. Ebina's watching him like a hawk, like he's the Siryu clan's prisoner. If he just had your help, Sawashiro could step up and knock him off his throne. You all started it. The second great dissolution should be yours to finish. I've said it already. There's nothing we can do. Come on. You don't have to like any of it, but at least pay attention. Kill you. Look, they're right. We got no business in the limelight anymore. I mean, sure. It's true we got the power to rally, folks. And we can get them moving, too. We join Sawashiro on stage, and we'll get the attention of every Yakuza in the country. It's called charisma. Nobody's stupid enough to say that for themselves, but... Hell if it ain't true. <laughs> how it goes. Slice it however you want. That's the Yakuza way. The dreams we ended up giving others... They're what keep them coming back. The Yakuza we knew was strong. That Yakuza had money. <sighs> Those dreams ain't worth handing out right now. They need guys who can help them get back into the real world. way in hell, that's us. Especially not with our recent track record. The moment we learned something was off with Ebina's history, we knew there was a lot to consider. Yes, there's a chance he's taking advantage of the second great disillusion for his own interest. However, if he pulls it off, who are we to interfere? If anything, we should keep our distance. Right. So this is how you're taking responsibility? It is. We'll act as if we don't exist. That's the best we can do. Honestly, even death had its appeal at one point. But if we're dead and gone, our names will just carry on into the future. Kiryu-san, are you aware of what they all say? All those Yakuza. Do you know how they see you? They act like you're some great mythical hero. If we ended up just like you, the illusions of the Yakuza life would be stronger than ever. Just look at your own life. Shintaro Kazuma was everything to you. How'd that turn out? Sawashiro would sacrifice himself to take down Ebina. But that alone won't be enough to save everyone. He's counting on your help. Uh, I'm sorry. Fine. I'll be there for Sawashiro as best I can. You guys can just keep rotting away. Huh? <laughs> 
Guess I was wrong. Hold it! <laughs> the hell's that supposed to mean? It's just as I said. I was stupid to think coming up here would change anything. Go ahead and run. Just remember that for all your excuses, you still have a job to do. possibly know about what we've been through. You have any idea what it's like? No, I can't say I do. And I wouldn't want to. <sighs> Damn you! <laughs> you were never cancelled by a VTuber. What's wrong? <laughs> Actually, I was. If you want to fight, don't hold back. <laughs> Getting worked up over petty shit like this. Better than sitting around being pissed off, though. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's throw a few punches for old times' sake. Hey, what's going on? Fight. Aren't you guys supposed to be having a nice, friendly chat? Uh, cause uh, game? sure as hell don't look like one. Sorry for the wait. <laughs> Game? Just a little more time. Game? Controller disconnected. Oh. <laughs> oh, I think my controller's dying. Hang on. Sorry. This is a bad time for this. No. You're about to throw hands. Please. React in some way, game. Tend to play on keyboard and mouse. Yeah, no. That's <laughs> 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 not gonna happen. I would. Uh, uh, I would rather die. I would rather die. Um, hmm. It's not responding. You normally it. it... Oh wait, hang on. What the fuck? Like, my controller's on now. Quit acting so tough. Okay, here we go. We're not gonna leave our friend out to dry like that. <laughs> More importantly, if we stay out here any longer, we'll all freeze to death. So you've got five on your side now, huh? Suppose that's fine. I'll just have to tag in too. Ooh, oh shit. How about this? I never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all three of you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like you got any business with us. Maybe stay in your fucking lane. <sighs> oh well. Guess I'll try and make this fun. One express trip to hell coming up! <laughs> well, that's scary. Probably have a few bruises after this. Hey, we can't back down now. We're locked in, sister, so buckle up. Okay, extremely high buffs going into it. Let's go. What's the hold up? Try to block this. You asked for it. This well, uh, ten doing levels the above what, what? Yeah, you're doing damage, damn. I am ten levels above where I'm supposed to be. Oh. Nothing personal. But they are three pretty big health bars. Also, Namba's drunk. God damn it. Wrong. 
I mean, the fight in seven, you could be over leveled and it's still. Be the, really you could hard. be over leveled and that fight's still hard. No, honestly, it's probably a lot better this time around. <laughs> Cruelty kick. Oh no, they got combos. This is the worst. Here goes. Here goes. Let's get fancy. Ah, wrong button. <laughs> Thank you. Umbrella. <laughs> Here you saw it. Take a, this is not the weather for this. <laughs> No, not this. Oh, only one Goromon. Okay, okay, there's only one. Like... All right. I'm on a roll. Let's go. That's two. Uh, so maybe they don't have as hard of a health bar, though. Maybe not. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, you no, took them out. I won't hold back. That's fine. The three of them are enough. Hey, look, it's your friend. The Komaki style. Reign supreme. Omajima, well, you're used to this. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well use my meter, right? Oh, yeah, might as well. Okay, no, it's the same regardless of what I do. It's just an, an overdrive mode. Mm. Also, it doesn't stop until you stop punching. No. I really should be stealing money from them, huh? Oh, uh, are they loaded, you think? Probably.
Wait, not using money, sucker? Yeah, I guess I should. Try to block this. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way, Daigo. Yeah, they got money. I won't hold back. Ah, oh, shit. Now we're talking. Watch this. Majima, what do you have? Feel his knife. He's nothing. No, no! Ow. I'm surprised Daigo's not dead. I gotta get money from... I gotta keep them alive a bit longer. Oh yeah, you need to get money from Daigo and uh, Majima. What? Oh shit! Oh shit! What the fuck? Uh, we're in the memory dimension. Look at them. Look at the boy. Oh my god. This is awesome. You're going to regret this. And Daigo's gone. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll take you on. I don't have anything that hits everybody. Um, Do they have one for all of them? No. That'd be cool. Uh, oh, you mean, yeah, maybe. I don't know what this attack is. Happy to see me. <laughs> this is a healing move. I could die happy now. Very good. <laughs> Well, I can get rid of Daigo. Yeah. Oh no, he's already done. Uh... No, you don't. No begging for mercy now. Have fun with this. Okay, I don't think they have anything. Done already. I won't hold back. Here we go. Yeah, each of them have one. <laughs> it's Majima and his construction hat. Yeah. Alright, I should probably heal. No begging for mercy now. 
<laughs> so it's not here you have down. to do the yeah. yeah. I have no clue about anything involving Sage. Yeah, I don't know about Sajima's story. It's like Yakuza 5 or something, right? Yeah. 4 and 5, I think. Sixteen million. Bracelet of the four Davis. Learning more every day. <laughs> Doing better than Moving I thought. Moving up in the world. Hell yeah. Champagne wave. There's more Strong. where this came from. Sweet. <laughs> Are we done now? Be straight with me. What are you all so afraid of? Are you scared of screwing up people's lives? <clears throat> or maybe... Maybe you just don't want to fail again. Whatever the reason... You'll never know if you don't try. You act like it's so simple. If we do try, what happens if it all goes to hell again, huh? If that day comes, you keep on pushing through. As long as you're breathing, keep moving, keep trying, and figure it out. There you go again. Always the hero. Say what you want. It's the only way I know. Besides, this is the last time. Anyway, I'm gone. You won't be hearing from me again. Wait. Don't go. Kiryu-san, I get that you don't have a lot of time left. Still, it's not worth it. That's no reason for you to run off and get yourself killed. You're wrong, Daigo. What? Honestly, it's a weight off my shoulders. My death's finally worth a damn. Kiryu, what are you saying? I'm the same as you guys. I've screwed up more lives than I can count at this point. Not to mention... I'm a Yakuza. I haven't exactly lived a life that I can be proud of. Yet even then, through it all, I'm somehow still here. So that's it. The Yakuza have made a huge mess for themselves. Once I grab hold, I am taking it with me. You're talking out of your ass, Kiryu. That's no excuse to... Wait till things settle down. Come then, Kasuga's gonna need your help. The Yakuza have one chance. Their future depends on him. Don't you leave! Don't you dare leave! Kiryu-chan! <laughs> you know, it's funny. I came to ask you guys for help. But maybe all I wanted was one last fight. <sighs> Wait, Kiryu-san. And then we left them there. <laughs> In their shack, drinking. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> They're so sad. Well, we're back. And no Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, or Goro Majima. Wow, man. If they just get off their asses, we'd have wrapped things up by now. You're probably right. 
They seem to have made up their minds, though. It's not like we can force them to help out. Got me there. I swear. To think the Tatara Channel got a hold of them, too. Yeah. Hey! Oh, whoa! Isn't that Kiryu? Yeah, look! It's gotta be him! It really is! Oh, no. I'm famous What's on the internet. On? <laughs> if we let this guy roam free, the Yakuza will just keep coming back! I don't care if I get locked up! He's never gonna hurt us again! We don't have time to take these guys on. Let's lose them and get back to Kasuga's place. Get back here, damn it! <laughs> Well, man, I've been on chapter 12 for a while. I feel like it's going to end pretty soon, but I wouldn't know. Hey, Nanchan, are you eating okay these days? Am I eating okay? You sound like my mother. Well, I don't think I've ever seen you eat a vegetable, so... Hey, now, don't assume. Anyway, you're, uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> of course. Oddly, I was better at that when I was homeless. I think I was more conscious of it back then. That's actually kind of sad. Yeah, I'm kidding. Don't worry. I'm doing just fine now. Oh, huh? You are? Yeah. You know those veggie juices that give you your daily dose? I'm drinking three a day. Well, impressive, right? I'll bet I'm packed with nutrients. I'm more impressed with how smug you're acting. I'll make him a veggie stir fry next time we eat. Wait, huh? What about the juice? What about your sodium intake? Anyway, that might do it for now. Maybe I'll be playing some more later, or maybe, uh... It'll be tomorrow on Sunday. Sunday. Uh, next week. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be on Arcade Pit this week. Uh, I can't. I I don't think they did not take you. They took no. me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we, tr we tried to get on the. I I I asked Beatus, and then I was like, oh shit, I should get some more people. So I asked I can and he signed up, <laughs> but they didn't take him. They gave us two newbies instead. I mean, which makes sense. Yeah, that's, that's that makes sense. Yeah. All right, let's find someone to host on over to. I'll see you at Arcade Pit tomorrow. In case I don't see you. <laughs> Loon is playing Elden Ring. I don't know if that's good or bad. We'll, we'll find mm -hmm. out. Oh, well, that's right. 